Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Babylon 5. Last episode, we found out that Lockley and Sheridan used to be married. One of the reasons he brought her along because he knows that she'll stand up to him if she needs to. But also we see, particularly in this episode, um, how she goes about things. She's so, you know, by the book, by the policy that she was gonna have the telepaths um, be given over to Psychor because EarthGov said for them to um so you can see like why she didn't change sides during the war she just is a certain way um she thought of a really good idea to postpone it though um by saying well they need to be quarantined because you know they may have diseases and that helped out with uh dr franklin starting up this I guess department where they're going to start um, researching that um, because of all the integration with all the um, races that the uh, the alliance is going to bring. So that really tied together well. Um, also, there was a bomb on a Centauri ship, so Londo needs protection. He now has a new bodyguard and Jakar. He's having to go back to Centauri Prime because we heard that the Regent isn't doing that well, which makes sense. We know what's happened to him. So his time as Emperor is coming up. And it's interesting to think now this may be the reason Jakar is on Centauri Prime when he ends up like choking him to death and himself being choked. Because, I mean, he'll be... He'll have reason to be there, but we still don't know why he would still want to do that. Like when we first found out about it, you're like, sure, of course he'd take a chance to kill Londo. But like they're on good terms. So what goes bad again? I don't know. Um, yeah, so the telepaths are still there. Byron has completely wooed Lita. They're together, it seems. Um, but they are laying groundwork for worry about Byron, um, the kind of charismatic leader he is, how devoted his people are to him. They're setting up for what we know is coming down the line, which is, <laughs> I mean, I, I can only imagine other than what we actually saw with, which is Garibaldi getting killed in the end, but I'm very curious to know how it all shakes out. So we're, we're slow. We're slowly sowing the seeds of that. Um, this next episode is called Secrets of the Soul. I don't know. Soul talk always makes me think of Jakar or maybe even the Minbari. So maybe something to do with them, but secrets. I mean, that could be anything. So, yeah, let's get back into it. I'd like to do an analysis of your upper intestinal system. This is a barium compound. It's perfectly harmless. All right, you ready? That's why we're all here. More telepaths. Great. This is not the right place. This is where we, we are gathering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the right place. But this is getting out of hand. How many more of you people are coming it's here? Be so many. How many angels can dance on the head of a pin? How many of my brother and sister telepaths are coming? As many as want to. Okay, but the yeah. station well, has a finite amount of room on it. President Sheridan to allow us in. <laughs> it was very good pizza. You know, very, very good. What the hell are you doing with those people? Those people are safe like, like that. Byron, the others, those people. Those people are telepaths, same as me. Oh my God, not the same. If Byron asked me to follow him into hell, I'd do it gladly with Damn. a smile on my face. Oh, she's drank the Kool-Aid. What could you possibly say in five minutes that would change that? You come down here, parade around like you're in charge of the place, get free room and board, and you think you're better than us? The president has allowed us to stay here. I'd like to kick your ass. What do you think of that? It's okay, let him come. Guys, let's not do this. Hit me. No, why did you do that? Again. Okay. 
again. What are we doing? Was there any difference between one, two, and three? I, I don't... Then what would you expect to get out of four, five, and six that you did not get out of one, two, and three? Your anger has nothing to do with me. Sure. What will satisfy your anger will never come from me or anyone else here. I'm afraid you must look for it elsewhere. We were a geritocracy ruled by the oldest of our people Ugh. who are wise enough to guide us. Properly. Well, there's, we... a, uh, there's, a, there's a limit on that. Ah, there you are. We have kept our medical information to ourselves to prevent others from using it against us. We've never given it to an outsider. All the information will be kept in one file, triple encoded, and there are no copies. No one else has the passcode. This is a mistake. The elders have spoken. It is not your place to question them or me. This information is required if we are to remain part of the Alliance. And our people need that edge if we are to compete. But what if he finds out? Compete? If it is the will of Oshita. Finds out what? Accept it. And if he betrays us? Then he will die. You looking at me? <laughs> What's all this? There were as many of you as there were of them. So why did you let him do that to you? Because then there would have been seven of our people hurt instead of just one. Violence is not our way, Lita. We're here to build a new life for ourselves. A home among the stars. Would you build a home on a foundation you knew would not last? No, of course not. And why should we use the same tools of violence and fear that they use? But when they do this, doesn't it doesn't it make you mad? I mean, don't you want to strike back? Could you just, just what? What's so funny? Do you know what you are? What? A BCFLO. A brightly colored, fast moving object. <laughs> you don't just walk into a room, you blaze in and blaze out again like a comet. Thanks. She is all the way in. Lita does not yet feel she truly belongs among us. What do you say? Great. One big happy family. <laughs> oh, God. There's something I don't understand about these records. Now, your civilization has been around for 7,000 years, but, but these files on your evolution and medical history only go back about 800 years. Yes. They're hiding something. Mm, oh, yeah. But what? What the hell are you doing down here? Come on, Leak. didn't you learn your lesson? I was just... I was just... He was just... Hey, you brought lunch. Let me see. Let Did me it. see! Go, oh, look at us! Oh. 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 No, 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 you don't want to do that. Jeez, dude! Are you gonna kill him? What the fuck? He's attacked by one of you for the crime of being who he is and what he is. Okay. All right, did you get a description of who did this? No, but I believe we know who was responsible. He's a very special case. Shit. As I said. A very special case. No! No! no. Okay. I didn't do anything! Ah! Oh my god! It's me! I still let it go. Do it for me. I'm free! Ah. Hold it right Hey! Zach, stop. Let him go. Listen to me, he didn't do anything. This can't wait. I need to talk to them. Calm them down. If I don't speak to them, something terribly wrong is going to happen. Uh -oh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> They're not really taking his teachings to heart, it doesn't seem. We had a sighting of Hayakdo. Very rare. Computer, is there any reference to Hayakdo in any of the current Hayak? Literature? Negative. Do as I tell you, I'll die. Are you surprised that he was gonna wanna know? The Hayek, though, they're all dead, aren't they? It's a 
a case of parallel evolution. Two sentient races developed on your world. The other race splitting off from the main line about a million years ago, like oh, the shit. Neanderthal and Cro-Magnon. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was thinking that. Except in your case, they didn't die out. Yes. Well, at first we in our case, I don't know if they died out either. Resources. Then we learned to live together. For a time. They were hunted down in every corner of our world. It was a long time ago. We are not responsible. But we pay the price, Kirin. What price? It did happen, though. You can't cover it up. Oh, you must have known I'd stumble onto this. What price? Right? Take a look at the numbers for our population group. Well, they're not growing, they're shrinking. Oh, well, wow, looky there. We killed the Hayekdo. And in so doing, we killed ourselves. It took us a long time to discover the cause, but now there is nowhere to go. We are a dying people, unless you help us. It's our shame. We won't have it exposed. Well, that's your choice. But what it means is morally, I can't help you. We may as well acknowledge it. We may as well. It is too high a price to pay to do otherwise. Someday. Some casual genocide talk. You may forgive us for what our ancestors did. I can't forgive you. Not my place. Yeah. To speak for the dead. My guys found Carl's body about an hour ago. Yep, too late. Oh, pretty sad. I suspect if you had not kept me locked up here all day, there might be one less dead body in your morgue. You did everything you could. Then I must learn to do more. That's where you're wrong. Byron, the Vorlons changed me. Where are those gills? More than you could possibly know. But I don't know what it'll do once you get past my barriers and I get past yours. I could burn you. Burn. Oh my. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Do what now? No, 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 no. You're not telling us that these people are those babies, are you? Morlons, what the fuck did y'all do? Oh my god, there's so many. What the fuck? We were made telepathic to serve their cause. Save their worlds. Now they have to recognize that. How? By giving us a homeland of our own. We don't fit here because we're different. And if they can't? Then we'll make sure they have no other choice. <gasps> Oh, well, that episode ended with a bang. I, I was not, you know, I thought this episode was okay. But all of a sudden, we're like bringing back the whole Vorlons, changing Lita thing. And wow, they created a bunch of fucking telepaths. I don't think that's like the only telepaths. There were telepaths that existed, right? So this was just like their special ones who... We may need to worry about because, like, even Byron couldn't stop them from doing what they were doing. They've kind of got their own thing going on, it seems. But, oh, God, okay, here we go with the uh, they deserve land. Okay, where? Is someone going to be there and you're going to cast them out? Like, what are we talking about here? Um... Jeez. Okay, so everything that Byron was saying up until that point, I was like, okay, like he doesn't believe in like violence as an answer for anything. And he was trying to do right. He he showed, um, what was it? Carl, is that what his name was? The guy who was just like being shitty for no reason. Um, he was like letting him punch him and like showing like, what is the point here? Um, but you know, that didn't like deter him later on. He went after Peter, poor Peter, but, um, they went back at him and killed him. And, you know, Byron felt bad about that. And he was like, I, I didn't, I, they're not, 
listening to my teachings. I'm not doing well enough by them. But then he and Lita hooked the fuck up and we saw all kinds of shit. And that seems to have uh, galvanized him in a way that he's now going to press the humans, I guess, on this subject by giving them a place to go. Um, but like he said, basically by any means necessary. So I think violence may be on the table now, giving them no other choice. I, I don't know. But that's shocking. Was all of that... Was all of that tied into Lita? Like, is, a, is Lita their mother? <laughs> Did they use her DNA? An interesting thing to maybe touch on in the same episode, you have Dr. Franklin dealing with this race who is hiding their past shame um, that they killed out um, their, like, parallel evolutionary partner species after integrating with them and, and mating with them even all of a sudden being like well actually no we've got to be the superior race which is the, always the goddamn problem and killed millions of them um and in a um you know in, in a fashion killed themselves because they needed needed that strengthening of their own dna whatever was that union between them it was a necessity for their race to keep going and now they're wanting help obviously but they couldn't no one could help you if you wouldn't tell them what happened but dr franklin is still willing to you know get get some the ball rolling in some way but uh interesting thing to come out of a society that is uh Geriocracy. I mean, I would not want to live under one of those. I mean, there is wisdom that comes with age, but also there is a very obvious limitation of that. Like, listen to the kids, man. I mean, you get to an age where the world is not what you recognized it to be, and you have to change with the times. And uh, that doesn't really ever seem to be something that goes well when you have the geriatrics running everything um yikes hmm okay well <laughs> i you know i'm i'm glad they brought back the whole zach because i you know i was like zach and lita did have like a thing i thought but lita is all in with byron and zach is you know he's jealous for sure um but i think he also recognized that they're kind of like at a, a really big inflection point of what's going to happen in the future by what's slowly happening. And this is going to go over a ledge at some point, which, you know, is getting, is gearing up right now because of this new information that Byron has. He's really incensed by this. So it kind of is like them learning about their past in the same way that that one race, their past came to light. But I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like who has jurisdiction just to give them land? I mean, is there an England type that's just like, sure, yeah, use this space that people are on. But yeah, it's yours for sure. Um, uh, I thought it like, I thought the, I thought the whole drama was going to be on Babylon 5 itself. I thought that the, the um, telepaths were going to be like, well, we're just going to take over Babylon 5. But they like specifically want land of their own. I don't know, is anybody on Epsilon 3? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem like it, but I don't know how hospitable it is. I don't know. This isn't going to go well. I mean, we know the outcome, so it's hard to even like speculate because whatever's going to happen, it's not going to it's not going to be good. So, interesting stuff and, you know, I I I like that we got new information immediately out of this project that Dr. Franklin's working on. 
all of these races coming together, you're going to learn about some atrocities that have happened in their past. And you, you can't really absolve them in the way that they're wanting. It's just something they're going to have to live with. Like, they exterminated a race. So, I mean, they can want to, like, try better for the future, but there's no erasing the past. And I know a lot of people like to do that. Um, the bad parts of it, the shameful parts of it, but that never helps anyone. Um, the truth is the truth and it, it needs to be known. So, um, we'll see if they are now that it is known now that it is out there that they may can find maybe other races that they're compatible with on a DNA level where they can strengthen whatever it is that they're lacking in, in their own DNA. You would hope that all the people that were against the um, the, uh, the the marrying of the two races before, I don't know if anybody saw, I wouldn't think, but you know those ideas are hard to kill, even if it is to their own detriment, if, even if they are dying out, um, if if they would be willing to you know intermingle again. I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever hear it about it. Get hear about it again, but it's an interesting thought. But yeah, more. I mean, this is such a telepath heavy season. I mean, I know it's something that we've heard of, and it is something that's big coming about. But like Sheridan wasn't even in this episode, and nor Luckley or Delenn, Jakar, Londo. Like this is so telepath heavy, which I think is good and bad. Um, I, you know, obviously care more about the characters that we've spent a lot of time with. I mean, I like Lita fine. I like Zach fine. I like Dr. Franklin fine, but, uh, it definitely does seem a bit like a changing of course from everything that we've done up until this point. Like we're really focusing on this one thing. Usually if it's like, like this, we're also balancing it with something else. And that's not really happening. But, I mean, I guess maybe not a lot is going on now that the alliance has happened. But it definitely feels a little a little jarring. A little, um, just a little different. And uh, I wonder if this is going to continue to be, like, the sole focus of what we deal with this last season. I, I, I think it might be... So I, I but I want to, I want Lockley and Sheridan and Delenn, I want them all more involved in it. Um, but it does feel like it's just stuff that's like rumbling under the surface. And when they finally get involved, it's going to be too late. So we'll see, we'll see. But this was an interesting episode. I thought it was kind of slow at points, but the ending was sure something. So wow, we'll see who he's going to take, who Byron is going to take his complaints to. Or, like, who can even, like, give him what he wants? I don't know. But we'll see. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.